Unfortunately, the problem with Bollywood is how it celebrates repetition. Remember the times when uh, you had this rich girl, poor boy, lovely music, love triangles. Then we moved to the kind of cinema where uh, you had these brothers getting lost in Mela's family songs and reunification at the end. Then you had the good cop, bad cop. Suddenly Indian cinema now, or Hindi cinema, is celebrating evil. Is celebrating raw power of malice, maldi, viciousness, killing. Three films that have made it onto the platforms in recent times Bulbul, I, and now Rat Akin, are all dealing a very suspect human system and are seemingly pushing you to a belief that mankind's lost it all. We are living at its worst of times. And there is a celebration somewhere of the evil persona in man. I know as a person who is looking at a film, it is no business of mine to look at the event just that a film makes. And that is not what I'm talking about. My concern is not that. My concern is that repetitive that validation that we give to this kind of a philosophy by returning to that scene and pulling out different templates out of that kind of a scenario and depicting a story of man. Rathakini is one such. Starts off, there are two murders that happen. One is seen in road accident, but within seconds you know it's a murder because the driver of the car drags the bodies, a dark night, it's terrible, early feeling, very well shot. And then there's a death, a burn, the bodies are killed. Quickly you move into the real story. There's an octogenarian getting married. He's killed. The police walk in. Enter Jatal Yadav, inspector, played by Nawazuddin Siddiqui. And the story goes. Nawazuddin Siddiqui is the investigating officer. One of the suspects is Radha, the bride of the evening, whose octogenarian groom to be is the victim. The old man's nephew, Vikram Singh, played by Nishan Dahiya, is a prime suspect. It's also known that uh, Radha is a poor young girl. And uh, obviously there is a relationship between Vikram Singh and Radha. The family is full of people. They are all around the place. There is uncle, aunt, brother, sister, grandma, grandpa. Everybody is a suspect. You almost think if you are not in this Haveli in uh, Uttar Pradesh, you are on Agatha Christie's Orient Express. Everybody is a suspect. Everybody is Finger is in the power. Obviously, it's an investigation and therefore there's a go ahead, go behind, go ahead, go behind that the inspector has. The story is obviously to reward around Jatan Yadav, the inspector. Jatan Yadav's side story is about him being an old bachelor and his mother, played by Ila Haru. Nice spirited performance for her. Is he eager to have her son now? Including a big at uh, complexion creeps. And how uh, he does not want his mother to go around the matrimony or near the market searching for her. That's a very brief sideline to the story. Entirely the story deals with how the police is finding it difficult to crack the madam situation. Needless to mention, there is a political angle to the story. There is a feudal hangover. Sometimes one the argument, are you with those gangster movies of Jimmy Shelton and Sanjay? And 
everyone from the nicest to the shrewdest, you know, has some role in this murky world that's happening around. And it takes almost three hours to bury the day and to enlighten or enlighten the audience telling us who is the real killer and why. The root gets very nascent. Again, I know my limitation as something is running in the film, that it's not my business to decide the morality of the film. No, it's not. What makes it commendable is that there is a morbidity that shows no sign of you getting your spirit away for a minute or two. You don't even find that putting your finger into the popcorn box. Now, this is serious stuff. If somebody like a Bruno or a Benny, and I'm just taking names, were making a social documentary story that deals with a value system that requires some kind of a exposure. Maybe there too there is something to push the envelope. But here I think it's getting too tired. It's getting too repetitive. It's getting too self destruct Performances again are a mixed bag in this story. Many of them are so straight jacketedly evil that they are looking into the script and telling me what they need to be doing. Or they are looking into the camera and telling you what they should be doing. You don't blame them because they are all caricatures. They, with 150 characters in three hours, everybody gets five and a half to seven minutes. So everybody wants to leave an impression within the time that they have. In spite of all this, marks must go to Hani Triham for keeping you reasonably engrossed with what's happening. He could have cut off on its morbidity. He's telling you just too many tales in parallel. If I were he, I would have had the business sense of making three films out of this, three good movies out of this, but he doesn't. He chooses to put everything that he has written is to be chewed. What also keeps the movie going is the general all-round performance. But two names before I sign off one is Nabazu. What an actor. I don't think one needs to talk any longer about the caliber of this great actor. Having said that, I would strongly believe that he needs to do a career check. One too many films of the same kind, or one too many films where the character moves on a slightly different axis. Understand, he's not the angry Vijay or Ravi that Bachchan played. He's not the angry Nasiruddin Shah. He's a new anger. He's an angst anger. He's an anger with a difference, with a somewhere skewed personality refusing to complete him as a person. He's done it too often. I'd like to see him do it more straight. I'd love to see the guy play it a little, take himself a little lighter. Only in our cinema can you justify this kind of talent not getting the pride of place. No great role. In fact, a very cliched role. Yet, for every moment she has in the film, there is that intensity. An intensity that reminds you of Smita Patel. And this is saying something about her. I begin to believe that when people are crying sour of the N-word in Bollywood, here is an example of a tremendously talented actress who is still fighting for her rightful place in the scheme of things. And it came before I can there are just too many people around there. It's not a game. On the other hand, if I have to go back to that lovely S.D. Burman song, I could only have said, 